short again and Watson as he does pulls off the front foot and gets it in front of square first boundary of the day pulled again and again in front of square albeit just this time but the result exactly the same he didn't quite time it but it's going to be for the boundary rope is in and even if it hadn't been in it probably would have run away quickly down that hill but it, it just made a, a bit of a plinking sound off the bat dispatched one bounce down towards that tavern stand full house today at Lords and got it. pulled away Stuart Broad into the attack another pull into the leg side Watson finds Anderson Watson's on his way Forcing off the back foot, excellent shot, 11 overs have been bowled, 37 for one. Oh, good shot, lovely shot, Ponting. Gardy gives up the chase, early doors. Six fours now. Ponting down the pitch, down the ground. Aggression from the Australian captain, last ball goes for four. 54 for one. He's on the pull, is it off the glove? Yes, gone. Short ball's worked again, broad again. Well, he is a genuine wicket taker, isn't he? White's away. A little bit too full from Luke Wright. Much needed boundary for Australia. Pulled away again, two men in the deep, straight between them. Payne gets just his second four. Reverse sweep is a good shot. It's nicely played too. Sweetly timed, just helped way around the corner there for four. It's gone up it's but it's also gone a long way away from Longleg, who is wide there. That's a good shot, just wide of the short third man. Has to go uphill from there. And the dive won't catch it up. So four runs from the first ball of the over. And uh, Tim Payne also reaches 50. He moves on to 51. Catch! Sounds of catch. There's a man underneath it who judges it beautifully. It's Yardy. Well, this is something we've seen with Graham Swan a lot in Test match cricket over the last 12 months or so. An early strike, early in the spell. And uh, Cameron White has paid the price for trying to get on top of Graham Swan on the second ball of his first over. Yeah! Oh, he's got him. Got him. And uh, Tim Payne, having battled his way through. Having played that reverse sweep a couple of times, once beautifully, once not quite so, has now played it rather badly. Now the short delivery and off the bat, it looked like. It'll be runs, is either off the glove or the bat. Yeah, he's got something on this. Now the short delivery and smashed away. Excellent shot from Shaw Marsh, six runs. Great start to the batting power play. 162 for four. That'll be another four. So this is excellent from Sean Marsh. And well, that should be four more. That's very fine. So Jimmy Anderson not quite getting it right. It's not far away. Oh, hits straight down the ground. Six more. Sean Marsh. Brilliant stuff. Well, this is crying out for a change of pace. That's four more. 
Sean Marsh is having a great three or four overs here. Took his time, and he's now in. And he's bashing him around. 189 for four. Bowls offside, and, it, and he pays the price. This is a good shot, and England are, are suffering here. Fifty to Shaw Marsh, and also the 200 up comes up for Australia. He's played well. Shaw Marsh back into the side because of the injury to Michael Clark, and he's moved on to his seventh one-day international 50, and it's come at a good rate. Hit away on the onside. Six more, yes, just carries. Terrific play. Australia pushing on. Marsh with his third six. That's about a long way up, but not far enough. It should be caught. It is. Owen oh, Morgan, the man, after way this long off. And it's that man, Swan, again. Got underneath it. So he got the height, but he didn't get the distance. That's four. Both men up inside the, the circle behind the square. And not the place to bowl if you have that field. Half strange for Hussey. It's been a long time in coming. Yeah, he hasn't got a 50 for eight games now in 50 over cricket. Oh, that's a good shot. He naturally gets into that position. We talk about it a lot where your left leg gets out of the way. That's gone a long way up. It might not go all the way. No, it has. Big six. 13 runs from the over, 237 for five. Well, it's not a very good one. It's a big shot. 248 for five. New bat for Hussey. Similar result, low full toss has been clubbed. Not too many deep on the offside, and that's where he has gone. For another gap. Four more. Can be a very, very hard ground to protect, protect Lords. It really can. Ball rushes away. You've got to get your angles right. That's well played again. Couple of bounces over the boundary ropes. Expensive end for England. It really has been a turnaround. 263 for five. should be out. Jimmy Anderson, he doesn't drop too many. Like a tennis shot from Smith. In the air, Jimmy Anderson again, and again he does the job. Four wickets now for Broad. Same combination, Court Anderson, Bowl Broad. That's gone a long way. That boundary is the shortest of the four. One ball, six runs. What a start from Hopes. First delivery. Jimmy Anderson has some work to do. Can't get there. Slow ball bouncer and nails it. Ten from two deliveries, momentum at the end of the innings. A hundred miles an hour. Fifth delivery, first over, clocked in a hundred point one miles per hour. Up and over the top down to third man, it only needs a touch at that pace, 96 miles an hour, only needs any sort of contact, he'll run away for four. Oh, bowled in beauty, 
picks it up, swing it back in, bullseye. Absolute beauty. How many coaches, how many times have we told you, top of off, where does it hit? Boom, top of off, gone. Oh. Oh. He's up to speed again, Tate. This is thrilling fast bowling. Oh, done him again. Full swinging, 97 miles an hour. Beautiful delivery. Don't send an all-rounder in to do a batsman's job. Gets it through this time, counter-attack Collingwood. Keep an eye on his speed, his speed's down to 93, it's still quick. Oh, what a shot! Six, Collingwood. Yeah, and this is why he should have come in at three, really, before the crisis. He's a proper batsman. It's a good shot, that. He's got to through the offside. Leading edge taken. So Ryan Harris is in on the wickets now. Keysvetter having just hit a beautiful cover drive, gets a leading edge and well taken. Clipped away, that'll be four. Just a little bit of, a little bit too straight on that occasion. Bollinger just swung a little bit towards the leg stump. That's sharp two. It was uh, certainly too quick for Owen Morgan. We've talked a lot about Sean Tate, but this is Doug Bollinger showing that he's no slouch either. Right, Bresden, Swan Broad to come. All handy. Not sure they're capable of playing the major innings that England need to play now, but these two, Collingwood and Morgan, certainly are. We said that they needed Owen Morgan out. Well, he's taken a good catch there on the boundary edge of Sean Marsh. It was a short ball. He was given some treatment by Owen Morgan, but it was in the air. Still moving. I mean, it's, it's not gone in cleanly, but at least he's kept it above the ground. And the, even, if it doesn't, even if it does go in cleanly the first time round, when you're coming down towards the ground, all sorts of things can happen. Interesting to see, just to make sure it has stayed above ground, actually, but I think... We take his word on that one. He's done well with that. He's done really well with that. It was a tricky catch to start with. Wasn't made any easier by the fact that he started to juggle it. That's a really, really key moment. 72 for four it is now. Just keep an eye on Peterson's mobility and movement at the crease. No, he won't, because it's a short stay. He drags on a short ball from the leg spin of Stephen Smith. So Peterson has gone fourth ball for North and England in disarray. Four runs. Something for the crowd to cheer. Well, he's gone for the hook. He's top edged it and it's gone all the way. Brings up for Collingwood's 50. Four at the start of the boundary, uh, over other, and then a maximum six. What a way to go there. Another short ball, another hook, another top edge. Four more runs. Some friendly delivery, a slow ball, full toss. Not got quite right, but the batting was spot on. Put away. Well, it's another fine catch. Out in the deep there, Sean Marsh has moved across this time to his left. Previous time it was to his right. This one goes in very cleanly. The edge has gone wide of the keeper. Tim Payne diving away to his right but couldn't get close to it. Poor delivery, and it gets exactly what it deserves. Off line, off length. 
well placed. It was a bit of a gift, a rare gift today from Stephen Smith. But beautifully put away. Four more. Still just about in this England need. 114 from 88. Now Collingwood on 83. Now it's full and through the covers as well. Four more. Oh, this is nice bowling. Resnan away this time. Four more just nearly, nearly brilliant fielding, but it's gone for four. Runs here. Really is a good shot through extra cover. It's a timely shot for England after four dot balls. Massive shot there from Bresnan over extra cover. Finds that extra cover boundary again. England on the move. With the stones. Oh, this is gone, I'm sure. Brilliant piece of fielding given him. No third umpire, Ricky Ponting, 35-year-old Ricky Ponting, special. Oh, bowling tape back into the attack, Collingwood. Cleaned up, 95. England in all sorts of bother now, eight down. Wonderful shot by Swan. Got into that uh, reverse position very quickly and drilled it in front of square. He goes leg side this time as a full toss. And uh, because the two men out are way in front of square, Swan has just used the pace of the ball to help it behind square. It's good batting. Slower ball and Swan goes over mid on. Mid on is up, remember, he was back at the start of the over. But he's up now. Swan goes again to the boundary. I wouldn't say it's panic stations yet for Australia. But the longer Graham Swan is there, the greater chance England have. Oh, would you believe it? Dougie Bollinger following through, just sticks out a palm. And the ball nestles in it. It's a, a terrific catch, an unfortunate end for Broad. And England nine down. for Anderson this time nobody out on the offside boundary but England need a few more where that came from as it cleared mid off Ryan Harris no takes the catch Australia win the game but remember England win the series it's a 3-2 series Victory for England, which for Australia at least sounds a lot better than 4 1 or 5 0. So Ricky Ponting will be well pleased with the way his team have recovered from a miserable start to this series.